Hello and welcome back to lesson 9 of basic CNC programming. In this video we're going to be talking about the absolute and incremental mode that is used inside of a CNC program. Now if we take a look at this program and watch the simulator run, we see that we're just milling a 2x2 two two inch square and we've learned that when we pick the coordinates for a program like this that they are all in relation to a origin. This dot right here represents the origin of this part and the green line here is the center line of the tool. So every coordinate used in this program is at a distance away from this origin. And so having picked these coordinates in relation to this origin doesn't necessarily mean that we are going to get the right shape unless we put it in absolute mode. Now the way we put it in absolute mode is on this first line where we are wrapping to our start position and we tell it to go in G90 mode. So the G90 puts us in absolute mode, meaning all of our coordinates are in relation to this origin. All right, so just by changing this G90 to a G91, we'll change it from absolute to incremental mode. Now, let's take a look and see what happens when we do that. All right, so as you can see, we have changed the G90 to a G91, and so now let's run the simulator one more time and let's watch what happens. We still start at the same point but you can see that it no longer machines the 2 by 2 inch square. Now let's talk about why it does that. Alright so first of all we're telling it to go to the start point x minus 0.5 y.25 okay. So the very next move we tell it is a G1 X 2 inches to 50. So from this point to this point is an incremental move now. Okay, so it completes it and what it does, it now says, okay, this endpoint is now my next origin. So the next move we make is Y minus 2 inches to 50. So it's not in relation to this origin that we have learned about but now from its new origin so every move it makes the end point is now a new origin so you can see y minus 2 inches to 50 is this long move then x minus 250 is this little move to the left and the y250 is the move up in y plus so you got to be careful that if for any reason you have changed from G90 to G91 mode, you want to make sure you're back to G90 before you start running geometry. So you wonder why you would even be in a G91 mode. But when we take a look at the top of the program right here, we have this G91, G28, Z0 move. And what that does, it, it homes out the Z axis because most tool changes are done with the Z axis at the home position. So the G28 tells the Z axis to go to home position, but you can only command this G28 in incremental mode. So that is the reason why a program could accidentally be left in a incremental mode. So we gotta be careful that when we switch from making the tool change to running our geometry that we on this start line command the G90 right before the G54 putting the program back into absolute mode. So let's change this G91 back to a G90 and make sure that our shape is correct again and then Let's take a look at the bottom of the program here where we see another G91, G28, Z0. Now we're through with our geometry. We're wrapping right here to a Z1 inch. The M5 and M9 turns off the spindle and then the coolant. And then we home out our Z axis first and then our X and Y axis. And that allows us to open the doors and change out our part. So you can see that at the end of the program the machine is actually left in G91 or incremental mode. So the best thing to do at the end of the program after you have homed out the Z axis and the X and the Y axis to actually insert a line just saying G90 and that puts the machine back in absolute mode 
in case that's the last thing you do and the next program is loaded you want to make sure that the machine is left in absolute mode again absolute mode is G90 meaning that all the coordinates are in relation to one origin okay the origin of the part in this case the upper left hand corner incremental would mean that the machine each time it completes a move it calls that endpoint its new x0 y0 origin so that's the difference between absolute and incremental thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video